Went to the trash and find nothing. Rubber duck added to inventory. I didn't mean to take that, but cool. The water looks dark and murky. Careful not to contaminate it. It's the town's drinking water. So I shouldn't throw the coin in, is what you're saying. Or it might, like, kill people. One of the post quests says, What's good, everyone? I am new to town and would love to help anyone out with blacksmith-related things. If you want to help out, head over to my shop, south of town. Rudy. This is like a mix between, like, Animal Crossing and Stardew Valley so far. Arbor says, Hello there, Elizabeth. Do you remember me? Haha, <laughs> I'm just messing with you. I don't remember me either. I seem to have lost my memory, and I'm a bit puzzled. I think I know what we can do to jumpstart it, though. I vaguely remember... An umbrella! Can you find one for me? I think it could help. I think I remember the sounds of glasses clinking. Like a wine party or something. Okay, I'll let you know if I find an umbrella. Linux Resonance. Is this a car? What is this? I try knocking, but no one answers. Grancho Residence. What a name. I try knocking, but no one answers. What is this? Okay. Hey, Freya, come back. What happens if I pet you again? Pet Freya the dog. Okay. Max doesn't ask to be pet again. Thankfully. That was weird. Peen Residence. Look at how tiny it is. Okay. <laughs> Wait, did we shrink? Actually, never mind. It's probably best not to question it. So I have to, like, not get smacked? Hey, buddy. Do you think you can help me out with a big problem I'm having? Sure. I can tell that you are a noble adventurer, and this may be too difficult, but... See that can of pears on the shelf behind you? I know it's a lot to ask, but I beg you, please. My family is starving. Can of pears added to inventory. Man, I should have saved the breakfast for this so I could, like, give it to them too, right? Just grab those pears for me, just hand them me. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I was a little desperate. Here. I want to give. I don't want to use myself. Thank you, traveler. Now my family can finally eat again. I will tell stories about you to my children. And to their children as well. Can of pears removed from inventory. Hey, I think you just saved an entire family from starvation. Would have given the breakfast too, but I ate it. You are so selfless. I would make a joke about a certain S word related to uh, being a little too white nighty to women, but I've been told that word is not allowed. <laughs> on like some channels now, or like some platforms, <laughs> so I'll not use it. You can make up the letter P, but the rest is scratched out. Scratched out, huh? The door's locked. Got a little good beat. Looking for an umbrella still, I'm sorry. Freya, don't get left behind. Morton says, hey you. Move me. Yeah, move me. I've been here for weeks now. I need to be moved. Just pick me up and place me on the ground somewhere. I don't care where. Okay, sure. Thanks. Morton added to inventory. Uh, would you like to be in this part of town? You can sit on this bench. You smash Morton against the bench. That accomplishes nothing. Okay, I'm sorry. Place Morton on the ground. Thanks, buddy. I won't forget this. I meant to sit you on the bench, so... Freya. Okay, I guess I'm supposed to follow Freya. Where did that silly dog run off to now? He's gonna have done something to Freya. Max, Max, Max. 
Oh, there you are, Freya. Good job on finding the paddle, boy. Now we can finally begin our journey to the north. She's a girl, but it's okay. Elizabeth is my friend. Elizabeth is my friend. That was what I was repeating there. Okay. Oh, there you are, Elizabeth. You were just standing there, and I was getting a bit worried. But I'm happy you're back. Let's get going. I wasn't just standing there this time. <laughs> uh, I feel like I should... I haven't been doing the buddy talk thing. I bet Cauldron is cooking up something delicious today. Okay. What is this? Botley. Beep beep. Boop boop. That's cute. I heard Cauldron makes a delicious swear we're at something. Mmm, just thinking about makes me want some. Okay, so he really wants us to go there. Is that blood on the ground? The water. Cauldron. Hello there, I'm Cauldron, the town chef. Would you like to give me some help, Elizabeth? Yes. Mm, good. I've been trying to come up with a new recipe, but I'm running short on ideas. I've tried fruits, vegetables, even wildlife. Can you kill someone for me? <laughs> That's where this is gonna go, isn't it? That bean-sized kid that fell into me yesterday didn't help. Mmm. Oh. If you could help me out by throwing any three things into my pot, we can make something. Amazing. I worry. What do you want in the pot? Where is your pot, anyways? That's the question. Wow, this place has a lot of options. A little hard to read, though. Cauldron has to be the cutest character in town. Look at that smile. <laughs> I can't even do it. Is this Cauldron up here or something? It's just an ordinary stump. I'm sure. The hand tugs on your shoulder. So wants me to do something. Can I use this here? You politely ask the stump to take the hand. It declines. Okay. Would you like a rubber duck? You place the rubber duck on top of the stump. Nothing happens. Would you like a coin? I don't think the stump wants your coin. Would you like a lantern? You turn on a lantern. The hand tugs on your shoulder. You dig him fine. Okay, nothing. What am I supposed to do? The hand tugs on your shoulder. You turn off the lantern. Hand tugs on your shoulder. Okay, I think we still need something to be able to interact with that, because we didn't have anything that worked. And I don't know where his cauldron is. Toots. It reads Toots Tavern. Sometimes I wonder if I was created for something more. <laughs> I was made to be a friend, of course, but what if I could do more? Okay, it's a little bit existential crisis y. Now I can tell this is a fun place. Just listen to the music. Do you think they have any apple juice? A wild, crazy party drink. Ooh, ooh. I'm gonna look around a little bit before I talk to him. Umbrella! Umbrella added to inventory. Yay! There's a mouse over there. I hate mice. Crank! Hey, I am a clock! Do you want to hear some clock puns? Sure. Great! Okay, how's this one? What does a clock do when it's hungry? It goes back four seconds. Okay, so this is gonna give me code every time I listen to a pun, I bet. Wait, what was the... The number it carved in my hand was like 237, right? Earlier, before we even did like the visual stuff. Hammer clock, do you wanna hear some clock puns? Sure. Great, okay, how's this one? You are trying to eat a clock. It's very time consuming. Or time. Okay. I thought the numbers were significant. But no, it's just emphasizing where the pun is. There's a cross here. Why? Linux says, oh hey there, how's it going? 
Not much of a talker, are you? That's okay, you're probably a great listener. It wouldn't let me move away, and I got a little freaked out. I don't have much to talk about, actually. If you ever want to have a normal conversation, though, you can come and chat. Okay, right, thank you, Lennox. You don't seem too bad so far. Okay. Toot says, welcome to my tavern, traveler. You look tired. Have a drink? It's on the house, pal. Glass of water added to inventory. You wouldn't happen to have some time to help an old barkeep out, would ya? Sure. Wonderful. So here's the situation. You might have not noticed that the tavern is pretty dead right now. It's actually been like this for a while. We get very few here anymore ever since. The accident. <laughs> it was pretty gruesome and it breaks my heart to this day. It makes for some crazy backstory about the town, too. But I know you're not interested in what that and what happened, so we'll just skip over that. I have a plan to fix all of this, though. I have created a new concoction of sorts. A new drink I know everyone will love. Business will bloom again. I just need someone to get these drinks handed out. You may be thinking, Toot, why don't you just do it yourself? Great question. Now grab these mugs and start handing them out to the townsfolk. Come back to me when three people have tasted the sweet perfection of Toots Tonic. Free Toots Tonic added inventory. Okay, what happens if we give it to Lennox? Oh, no thanks. Okay, he knows. He knows something's up with that. I just want to leave. Okay, there we go. You want some clock? No thanks. I only drink during happy hour, but seriously, I don't drink. I hope Frey is outside. Okay, thank goodness. You pet Frey the dog. Will you pet Max? Oh, I didn't mean to use it myself. As you drink it, you remember to pour it from himself. Oh, okay, good. It didn't actually make it, like, make it go away. Good. Hello, robot man. You probably won't want this. It's time to remove your inventory. Okay, I did want it. Beep, boop, beep. Do you want some? I will not drink that. It might mess up my taste buds. Okay. I'm gonna come back to him once we get, um, some stuff that could go in his soup. Or I feel like we're ready to do that. Do you like some, ma'am? It's time to remove from the toy. I resist. Cheek made this. I am surprised. Rock, would you like some? It's time to remove from the toy. This is pretty good. Great. Oh, and I have your umbrella. Oh, goodness, thank you. Umbrella removed from inventory. I remember. It was raining. I was in my roller skates. You know, the shoes with wheels on them. Yes, yes, roller skates. Find me those. I vaguely remember feeling smaller than usual. Okay, so it's in this house for sure. Skates added inventory. Got the skates. Probably need to talk to Max. Do you ever think about existence? Like, why are we here? Since I feel quite lonely, but then I remember my best buddy would never leave me. Smiley face. Elizabeth and Max against the world. So how are you doing today? All right. I forgot you can't type here. I'll just assume you're doing good. Really like your favorite color. I think orange is my favorite color now too. Like I want to try a coin. And catchphrase. How does this sound? Hey, back off. Elizabeth is my best friend. I die for them. Okay. I'll workshop it. It's a little, a little clingy. But it's, it's okay. We roll with the punches. Perfect. Let's well, get removed from inventory. Let's see. That night. I took a bubble bath. Is that important? Duck? Yes, I need my rubber duck. We're so close. Help me find my rubber duck, please. I remember playing with it recently. I bet it's nearby. You can, like, speed up if you hold the spacebar while, while they speak. Which is what I'm doing. Okay. Uh, let's give her her rubber duck. This is it. This is it. Okay. 
have to check and make sure my battery on my phone doesn't run out. Rubber duck removed from inventory. It's all coming back to me. I was roller skating in the rain one night when the wind caught my umbrella. It really took me for a ride. I honestly don't know how I was holding on for so long. Eventually, I ended up in the mud. I went home and took a nice long bubble bath. And a man came in and knocked me unconscious. I was bleeding and left for dead with no one around to help. I remember my last moment screaming for somebody. Anybody to come save me but to no avail. Nothing but the void of eternal darkness. Wrapping its cold arms around me. These tries back up, yeah? Aha, what a crazy story. Thank you for all of your help. Oh gee, it sounds like Arbor's been through some scary stuff. At least it made for a fun guest. Quest, great job. Bet you did it, Max. Have you seen any good movies lately? I was programmed to know that the film Kick Puncher was very good. Lots of cool action there. But Max is like, I did it for you. I did this to them for you, Elizabeth. To give you a game. Okay, yeah, maybe Cauldron is the Cauldron, and I need to, like, use it on him. Glass of water removed from inventory. Mmm, glass of water, good choice. Uh... Would you like a coin? Away from your inventory. Mmm, this is... Is that a coin? I would know that taste anywhere. I don't know if I want to give any of those. I feel like they might be important, so we'll wait. Hopefully the coin wasn't that important, because we just gave it to him to eat. So, what did they think? All good things, right? Yes. Fantastic! This will surely bring all of the town back to the tavern. I don't have much to give you right now, but I think a little information can go a long way. It's best you find out about it sooner rather than later. You see, there's something evil stalking those woods around our town. A creature that preys off on lucky townsfolk who travel too deep into its woods. I see it fly behind my tavern every so often. The beast is fast, dangerous, and horrifying. In fact, I see it more in my nightmares now more than I do around here. We call it the Snoodlewonker. That is at least a name Morton the Rock could understand when speaking to it. Morton is actually the only one to fight the beast and live to tell the tale. But he did not come out unscathed. Sadly, that fateful night was the accident. The one where we lost half the townsfolk in a matter of minutes. Morton accidentally led him right to our town. It's been rough not seeing any of those faces I had come to cherish over the years. Those are some of my best friends that died out there. I don't think it was Morton's fault, though. No one does. I'm just not sure he's ever going to come to terms with that. Stay safe out there. And please don't go off into those woods alone. I'm sure two will get plenty of business now. Thanks to you, of course. Thanks again for the new reputation. No one has come yet, but I'm keeping my hopes high. I didn't really mean to talk to him again, but that's fine. Well, again, are you enjoying the town? Ooh, I feel like if we say no, Max is gonna freak out. Yes, so you can talk. It's not much, but it's something. Do you ever feel like you are destined for something great in life? Something greater than being an adventurer, I guess. Hypothetical. You don't have to answer. I just like to think I'm destined for something great. Sure, it's okay to be normal, but I don't want to leave this world with that title. No one is going to remember Linux, the normal mouse, and her normal, unfulfilling life. Okay, she. I'm sorry, I assumed it was he. I just want to go out and do something fun that I can tell people stories about. Sorry, I'm rambling again. Forgive me. We should be getting back to helping people out. You're really good at that. Just letting me vent to you has helped me a lot. Thank you, Elizabeth. She knew my name. What a nice looking tavern. You can really lose track of time here. Okay. And I didn't pick this up, but I think I should. Okay, I can't. It's like, it looks like a purse, but I can't take it. Okay. I just want to see if we can grab anything for the, the cauldron. 
but no. Okay. No, no, no. We do not get to go back. Okay. It's winter, right? That's what this is. And the music is like going backwards, like uh, Twin Peaks or something. Wow! Okay. I didn't like that. I'm going to pet Freya. You pet Freya the dog. The music didn't come back on. I am uncomfy. There appears to be a strange hole in the ground. Will you descend? Not yet. I just wanted to see if there's anything back here. Here? Oh, okay. Okay. So that must be like how we progress. But there's still like more things over here I didn't see, so. Sup, dude. Sup. Hello there. Hey. Hey. We need help. Our bass drummer and conductor wandered off and they haven't come back. I have no idea where they went. Joe might know more about the situation. We can't play without our missing members, especially Ja. He's our bass drummer. If we want to, if we want to stay a band, we need him back. Ra should know more. Talk to him. Wait, Ja and Sa are missing. That is not good. Luckily, I think D, D might be able to help. We will reward you if you bring them back to us. Please, adventurer, we beg of you to find them. V knows exactly where they went. Ah, yes, they went to the northwest last time I saw them. It's that way. It might be reversed on the screen that you're watching or not. I don't know. Uh, what does Max say? Oh, we can't talk to Max. I'm pressing B, but nothing comes up. That's not okay. Okay, I'm sorry. I, I won't press it again. Let's go to the northwest. Maybe toss something in this cauldron. You just came back. Okay. I still can't talk to Max. Okay. Oh, we can't access the... Go ahead and throw any three items in your mouth and I'll click it up. I can't anymore. I can't use anything. I can't use tab. You can see a small hole beneath the stump. We crawl in. Sure. Gotta look for whoever went missing again. Hello. Oh, hey, you found me. Well, we should get going. Ben isn't going to conduct itself. Saw ended to inventory. Your buddy's dead. John must be in a deep sleep. I'm sure that's it. This must have been an exhausting game of catch. John looks so sleepy. I'm sure Saw didn't kill him. Oh, he looks so cute while he's sleeping. Okay, we're able to talk to Max that time. It must have been a really fun game of catch. We should play sometime. Ben will be so happy to leave at least one member back. I can't believe how cool this game is. I'm taking a lot of good notes from you playing it. What nice weather we're having. I really enjoy watching the snowfall on cold winter days. Okay. Do you want to send? I'm just picking what I'm picking. Oh wait, so is he the bones we found earlier from the um, text version of the game? You pet for the dog. Okay, we might be able... Nope. We cannot put anything else in his mouth. I got stuck for a second. Freya! Let's go put Saw back down. He killed a man. Golly, I sure wish we had two more people. I think they went northwest last time I saw them. Yeah, I'd like to give them to you. Thank you so much is what he said. Jaws' name sounds like mine. I wish you'd come back soon. Honestly, I'm just here to jam or something. I can't play. That's not okay. I'm trying to... I want to give him back to you. 
I really do. But I cannot access my inventory. Aren't these graphics great? I'm so proud of myself. My button. Okay. Oh, we didn't go this way, did we? You like my cage? Pretty cool, right? I belong here for what I did. It's a good thing this cage is so small. I like being claustrophobic. Man, I love this cage. I wish it were smaller. People taste pretty good, you know? You like my cage? Pretty cool, right? This is just gonna repeat. Yeah. I want to give you back your person, but I cannot. Okay, it's fine. We'll just go down this hole. That's fine. Will you descend? Sure. Can't do anything else anyways. Oh gosh, everything is so slimy down here. What is that awful smell? Loneliness? We must find the source. Welcome to my humble abode, traveler, says Lloyd. Feel free to explore my home. What's mine is yours. Thank you, Lloyd. Feel free to stay down here as long as you want. Okay, but do you need something? What a lovely place Lloyd has here. And it smells- I bet it smells wonderful. Please don't leave me. I mean, all I want is a friend to keep me company. Will you stay and be my friend for a bit? Sure, oh yeah, my new best friend Max is gonna kill you. Will you do something special for me? I must tell you though. You can't change your mind after. But I will make it worth your while and reward you handsomely. Be like kill a man. No. That's okay, best friend. Come back when you're ready. I'll be right here. Oh wow, he has a mint condition 1980 Topps Ricky Henderson baseball card. That thing is pretty rare, you know. Okay, what is it you want to do? You ready to hear about my quest? Yeah. Where I fell into the sewer, I used to live up top, you know. It's much better looking too with a mustache. Then I fell down here and became trapped for a long time. I miss the ground dwellers though. I had a best friend just like you. He was a really rad skateboarder who trained me to do some cool kickflips. You know? Or, I know you won't stay forever. You're an adventurer, a hero, just like my friend used to be. I'm just a lonely, handsome man. <laughs> if you if you could find me a forever friend to keep me company, I'd be so happy. Will you help me? Sure. Yes, I cannot wait to have a new friend. Bring one to me here and hand him over. He seems lonely. I'm sure we can find someone for him. The drummer, maybe? Have you found me a friend yet? Other than you, of course. Give them to me once you find one. Sure, I'd love to. But I cannot. I cannot access my inventory. I don't know if that's a bug or something or if it's supposed to be that way. Maybe this guy will be your friend. I don't know. I can't access my inventory, so I don't know. It's getting his cage so small, and green cost for it. Okay, never mind. Maybe we have to pick up the rock or something. And did we even try these houses? I don't remember. Oh, we didn't. What a cozy, well-furnished home. I bet whoever owns this place is looking to impress. There's a cheesy romance playing on the TV. And another cross, just on the table. There's a lock on the dresser's handles. Brady must have some secrets. Oh, uh, excuse me? Um, I, uh, got a question for you. Do you like oats? Sure, I do. Ha, ah, who doesn't? Sorry, I'm a bit nervous at the moment. Why? You see, I am in love. The problem is, I don't have the guts to do anything about it. Her name is Botley, and she's beautiful. Do you think you could deliver these oats I made to her? Then she will really know my love. 
Yes. Wait, really? Wow. Oh, uh, thanks. Here you go. Oh, it's added to inventory. She has two beautiful eyes and peeps the cutest boobs. You can't miss her. I bet you'll know exactly who she is. I do know who she is. She also uh, lives right next door. Oh, goodness. I watch her- excuse me, by the way. I watch her every day, so I know exactly how she makes them. I know she likes oats because she leaves her blinds open for me so I can see inside. It's a little creepy. Oh, how I wish I could watch her sleep. I bet she dreams of me. Maybe even us together. Too bad she closes the blinds at night. That's disgusting. Ah, uh, true love. I trust Grin completely. His interior design is perfect. Oh, I thought Grin was a she. Oh well. I don't trust Grin as far as I can throw him. That's creepy. I don't think Bolly's over here, but I do want to check. I'm trying knocking but away answer is yeah. So we have to go back up here. Also, let me see if I can pick up this rock. You wanna pick me up again? Yes, thanks. More than in inventory. We'll see if he can be the friend to the guy. Beep, boop, 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 beep. I want to deliver these oats to you. Okay, I'm gonna try exiting and reloading the game. Oh. Oh no. I'm pressing escape, but I cannot leave. Oh no. It's concerning. Okay. And I haven't tried walk- okay, you can't walk that way. Okay, so I can't click escape to leave. Max won't let me leave. I hope you can see on the detail I put in this game. Feel close, you can see blood, sweat, tears. Okay, yeah, we already had that line. Piece of strange hole in the ground, we sent. Yes. I brought you a rock. Have you found me a friend yet? Other than you, of course. Give them me once you find one. I'd love to. But I cannot. <laughs> oh, Lloyd finds a friend as great as you one day. Maybe you could be his roommate. Just kidding. You're all mine. Ha ha ha. I can't give anyone anything. Will you send? Yes. Maybe it's like trying to force you to do something specific. I don't know. I don't know, let's go check this hole again or something. And tugs on your shoulder. You see a small hole beneath the jump. It's much smaller than it did before. There's no way. You... Okay. Can't go down there. Yes, the hand is tugging on my shoulder. But I can't do anything with it now. Pet fry the dog. I'd love to give her the oats, but I can't give her the oats because I can't open my inventory. Hey, watch it, punk. Sorry. Maybe we have to, like, talk to Lennox or something. <laughs> hey, thanks again for talking to me. Sometimes it's good to have someone in your life you can talk to about anything. Okay. <sighs> Maybe you have to, like, forcefully exit the game. Hmm. You want to the trash to find nothing. Please take your drummer. I have them. Okay, well let's go talk to the mayor and see if anything happens then. Oh, there were some houses down here I didn't look at. 
Maybe that's why... Brant says, hey, uh, can I tell you something? I really just need to get something off my chest. Would that be okay? Sure. I like to move around. Like, a lot. Writing used to be one of my favorite things to do, but... I always felt like I was missing something. That's when I met Sarah. We instantly became best friends. We would do everything together. From marathons to early morning workouts, she was always there with me. Well, a few days ago, she fell ill. I'm not sure what it was. Maybe something she ate? Maybe life just being cruel? Sarah could no longer earn to be after that. Oh, sorry. I stayed by my best friend's side for hours on end. Even gave up running to be with her. We would talk about the good times we had together, sometimes laughing until our throats were sore. I still remember the sunny days when I felt like we could run together for hours. Eventually things got worse and worse as I watched her struggle to smile. She was hurting and tired of holding on to the pain. I was by her side in her final hours. Her pink cheeks and her brown eyes winced even uh, with even the tiniest motion. There was no way that was no way to live. Watch my friend leave this world in the comfort of her own bed. I'm glad I could be with her when she passed. Tell your friends you love them. They aren't going to be around forever. Oh, that really helped me a lot to get that off my chest. The smallest things can make someone's day. Thank you, Elizabeth. They all know my name. You're such a wonderful listener. Sometimes I wonder if I was creative or something. Okay, yeah. We already had that. Try knocking, but no one answers. Try knocking, but no one answers. Rupert says, please help me. I watched my grandma. <laughs> She's somewhat inside our house and it's too dark for me to go to go in thou alone. I'm afraid of the dark. Will you go look for, look for me? <laughs> That's really difficult. Well, thank you so much, stranger. There are no lights on in the house, so it is going to be dark. I hope you have a white. Good luck. Maybe I do, maybe I don't. I don't know. Oh, well, let's play start. Don't forget about your lantern. Let's go find Scoobert's grandma. Really wish I could. But alas, I cannot. So we're just gonna... It's locked. You probably don't want to know what's inside anyways. I can't use the lantern, I don't think. Go to his old desk it smells like a swamp. So I'm gonna have to, like, jack up this brightness and editing for you guys or something. <gasps> Sorry. Can we have a bed? You're too far- you're far too afraid to sleep in here, plus I don't think Scrooge would like if you slept in their bed. Okay. Grandma, where are you? Everything looks to be in pristine condition, despite the dark look of the house. Okay, same thing. Everything looks to be in pristine condition. Okay. Just the same, same, same. So we're not gonna look at it anymore. We already looked at that stuff, so... Let's head back this way. <laughs> Most of the books seem to be related to poetry or technology. There's also one about hot dogs. Okay, we can't look at anything there. Open concept toilet bathroom. On the bright side, it looks recently used. Okay, I don't know if you count that as bright side or not, but okay. Closet is locked. I wonder why all the lights are off. Maybe they stopped paying the electricity. This is probably the oldest thing in the house. You're surprised to see it still working, but barely. <laughs> I think 
Mrs. Scribber's grandma kept her personal belongings in here. Best not to meddle with it. But it looks like it has been used in at least a few years. The sheets are perfectly folded. Grandma's not here, is she? Open to the closet. Oh. Oh, finally. Found your grandma. This place gives me the creeps. I feel like we're being watched. Yeah. I can't interact with this tunnel anymore, but finally. Oh, I flipped a switch. That's what it was. Okay. Uh. Got some arrows. Clicking around that nothing happens. Oh. I don't think these were here before. Dead grandma added to inventory. We found her. Let's get back to the let's get her back to his Rupert. I'm sure he'll be so happy. Get the head of his grandma. Yeah, I was trying to see if there was like a body in there, but it was the arrows on the ground. There you go. Yeah, go away and please don't sweat anything. Just show her to me what you find you. Okay. Okay, I don't know if something's messed up with my game or what, so I'm gonna try and forcefully close out of it. Okay, so it forcefully closed it out. I'm opening it again. I wonder if that was planned or not. I don't know. So I forcefully closed out of it. I opened it again. So let's see if that was playing. Oh, welcome back, Elizabeth. I'm so happy to see you again. Okay, so here's where we left off. So we were supposed to close it. And if you want to know, I did control delete and did like in task. Inky monster. <laughs> Did it to me again. You were just standing there again. Why do you keep leaving? Is there something wrong? Yes. Oh, I see. Sad face. Well, I hope it wasn't anything I said. Let's just continue with the adventure. Oh, yeah. Go away, Tim. Please don't steal anything. Show me what you find out. Here we go. Oh. No thanks. You can keep what? Oh, I can't. <laughs> okay, so all this stuff was supposed to happen. That's good to know. We're gonna. I think this is the house that he made for us. Oh. Hello, buddy. There's a plug here. Is Elizabeth having fun? Oh, I, I guess I answered yes. Is Elizabeth enjoying our company? Yes. Yes, they still enjoy our company. Is Elizabeth our friend? Yes, I think so, but we can do better. <laughs> Elizabeth is not moving again. Why are they just standing there? Did they walk away? What if they don't come back? Something is not right. What a one oh zero one oh what a binary. Just a lot of binary. He raises his head. This little spoon head. Hey, buddy. You okay? Just need to stand here until you finish. Did 
Do I need to come talk to your butt again? When does it end? Okay, bye, I guess. Oh, we're back. Whoa. Trying to grab me. Sand's gonna come in here, isn't it? It's knocking. Ooh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that got me really bad. <laughs> no. Oh, Scribbert's Sh gone. See, there's something wrong. You were gone for 114 whole seconds this time. But if you don't want to play the game I made for you, I made just for you, then you don't have to. I can tell something is distracting you. I work so hard on all of this and all these fun characters, but if you want to be done, then that's fine. Talk to Tortley if you want to start the final quest. You can keep helping Townsfolk if you want, but if not, I understand, I guess. Oh, I mean, I have items for them and stuff. Just, you are being weird. There's more down here. 